how to overcome your obstacles getting started in real estate. Whether you're day one in the real estate business or months into this, still trying to get your business off the ground, it's important that you know how to deal with the obstacles you're gonna face as you're moving forward towards your goals in real estate. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can overcome the obstacles that you're going to face as you're taking these next steps forward to get started in the real estate industry. My name is Tyler Roike. I help people build income and wealth in real estate and I run an international real estate team at eXp Realty. If you get any value whatsoever out of this video, all I'd ask is that you like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to share more tips and resources with you in the time ahead. And if there is anything that I can possibly do to help you now or in the future, go ahead and reach out to me. You'll find my email along with some other helpful resources for you in the description below. Now with that in mind, let's dive into the video. So overcoming the obstacles that you're going to face on the journey ahead is going to come down to three keys. The first of which is take productive action. Now I want you to decide if you haven't already done so today that you are not going to be a victim moving forward. Let's face it, we've all at some point or another been in a situation in life where things just were not going our way. I mean, have you ever been in a situation where things are just constantly going wrong to the point that it actually is consuming your mind as you're going about your day, week, maybe month and even your entire year at that point. And maybe, just maybe, you might be there right now. But here's what you've gotta understand. The problems that you are dealing with right now aren't what's wrong. Even the thing or the person who may have caused these problems, that's not what's wrong. What's wrong is that as long as that all consumes your mind, you are not spending the productive time and energy that you could be to improve your situation. When you're in that mode, the fact that it is even consuming your mind is indicative that you're overthinking it, which simply does not serve you. So decide today, moving forward, especially if you're in that place right now, that you are not a victim. You just simply haven't done everything that you are capable of up to this point in order to improve your situation. So stop sitting there in your own pity, thinking about why it is that things are not going the way you would like them to go. And instead, begin taking productive action and just keep doing that from here on out. And it's that productive action, which is what you can control, that is actually going to help you get your mind right. And that's the first key to overcoming the obstacles that will stand in your way on the journey ahead in real estate take productive action. And the second key is equally as important, which is you got to create a bigger vision for your life. The fact that you're even getting started on this journey into real estate tells me that there is something driving you to create that positive change in your life that real estate is capable of unlocking for yourself and your family perhaps. And that reason behind it, that why, is so important. And so you need to take whatever that is and continue building upon it because you need a bigger vision for your life. I'm not just talking about the income you can create over the short course of time, over the next one, two, three years by getting started in this business and becoming productive in it. I'm talking about Imagine the 10 year vision. What does that really look like, especially if you are stepping into what you are capable of creating by being in this business and applying yourself in the correct way to it? So ask this question to yourself. What are your top priorities for the next 10 years of your life? And think about what the top three priorities are for yourself, long-term priorities that you would like to see all the way through in your life over the course of the next 10 years. And I'm not just talking about family or material things, I'm talking about something bigger. So think about that bigger picture and what it is for yourself. Think about the long-term vision for your life and what your why is. And you absolutely wanna dial that in and get so crystal clear on it to the point where it almost makes you emotional when you think about it. And here's the reason why that's so important. It's because your days from this point forward especially, are going to constantly be filled with distractions that are ready, willing, and able to take you off the course that you're setting about to be upon 
towards those bigger goals in your life. And without a bigger vision for our life that is driving us, we're constantly going to get bombarded by urgent things that are fighting for our attention today. And oftentimes we'll find ourselves handling and dealing with those instead of doing the most important things that are going to get us closer towards those bigger goals. And the reason that that happens is because up to this point, the most important things, the activities that will get you closer towards those bigger goals for your life have not yet become familiar enough to you. And so once you've gotten crystal clear on what those top three priorities are for that longer term vision of your life, next thing to figure out is what are the top three action steps critical tasks that you need to get completed today in order to move you closer towards each of those three things. So have a big vision and repeat it to yourself over and over and over again in your mind. Getting clear on this shouldn't be a one-time thing that you do and set it and forget it. No, this should be something that is a driving force for you every single day, something that you're constantly thinking about throughout your day, especially as you're getting prepared to put in the work it's going to take to move you closer towards these goals. It should be something you're thinking about nonstop over and over and over again in your mind. I mean to the point of obsession. You need to get crystal clear on what it, your 10-year vision is and become absolutely obsessed with it. Because fact is, too many of us are not obsessed enough with our 10-year vision for our life, let alone if we've ever put any time whatsoever into thinking about what that is and what we intentionally are setting out to create. And so what happens when we fail to get clear on that is that we are constantly taking off track every single day by a bunch of urgent things. And what happens is we let temporary urgent things take us off track every single day. And ultimately the result of that is that it takes our entire life off track and we never end up where we truly want it to be. So create a bigger vision for your life because being crystal clear on that vision and doing the critical things that are going to take you closer towards it every single day is going to help you to overcome every single obstacle that stands in your way as you're going forward on that journey into real estate. And that brings us to the third key, which is you've got to outlast the temporary. Most of what we are dealing with at any given point in time is something temporary. I'm talking about temporary temptations, the economy, our lack of belief at times, our lack of money, tragedies, the daily news, even deaths that we unfortunately get the news of as we're going about building our careers and lives on this journey ahead. Those daily temptations, emotions, news, tragedies, etc., are all things that we are dealing with in that instance. It's something temporary that we're facing on the journey ahead. And so you have to outlast the temporary. I mean, think about it. What is it that's going to come up that you're going to let cost you the next 10 years of your life? Are you going to allow something temporary to do that? I'm even talking about your temporary lack of money or some temporary news or even a temporary tragedy that you are having to deal with. And I say that's temporary because you dealing with it is a temporary moment. Life goes on, but so many people at some point along the way are going to allow something temporary to completely take them off track in life. And here's the thing about success. Success requires no apologies and failure permits no alibis absolutely none. So zero alibis, zero excuses, zero reasons not to win. So we've got to keep moving forward no matter what and to keep doing the actions that are required to move us closer towards our goals no matter what it is that we are dealing with in the temporary instance. And we have to accept and understand that very seldom will days ever be easy. In fact, there's going to be a lot of extremely hard and testing situations that we're going to deal with along the way of building our business and our dreams in real estate. And some of those situations are not even related whatsoever to our business. They can be personal things we're dealing with. It could be business related. It's going to be a whole array of things, but we cannot let a single one of them take us off track and cost us those years ahead towards what it is that we're building that we could have been still moving forward and growing and progressing despite 
the temporary setback. And in those times, it's important that we continue to imagine and dream because dreams are the seedlings of reality. And we have to be so intentional on a daily basis to keep our mind and actions set on where it is that we're going and not just stuck on where it is we are right now. I'm reading a book that you may have heard of by now, which if you haven't, I actually have a video about the top books I would recommend reading for real estate agents. But one of those books is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And there's a quote about going through hardships in there that I love, and I'm gonna share it with you right now. So it says, remember too that all who succeed in life get off to a bad start and pass through many heartbreaking struggles before they arrive. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed usually comes at some moment of crisis through which they are introduced to their other selves. And that's out of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So play that back again, read that quote for yourself because it's so eye-opening. Just so many people who have accomplished something so great and admirable, it came at the other side of a seemingly impossible circumstance, an odd and tragedy or something they were facing, but it was on the other side of that that they were introduced to their other selves, the, the person who it is that they were capable of becoming and what it is that they were doing. And likewise in real estate, we have to understand that it's not out of the question that the same thing could very well apply to us, that you know we are not introduced to our other selves, who it is we are capable of being and becoming by being in the real estate business until we see it through to see the other side of that crisis, that seemingly impossible moment till we can actually realize who it was we were meant to become by going through it, by overcoming the odds, the obstacles, and everything that stands in our way. And so you've got to outlast the temporary. And in summary, one, take productive action. Two, create a bigger vision for your life. And three, outlast the temporary. If you do each of these three things consistently over the course of time, that's how you're going to overcome the obstacles that stand in your way, especially as you're getting started in real estate and building upon it in the time ahead. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, all I would ask is that you like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to share more tips and resources with you in the time ahead. And if there is anything I can do to help you overcome the odds and obstacles and get more traction by being in the real estate business, it's something that I do. I help a lot of people starting out on this journey, build the incomes, get to a point where they're earning what they wanna earn in this business, but even building what it is they envision with it. So I'd invite you to connect with me. Feel free to reach out. You'll find my email along with some other helpful resources for you in the description below. But if there's anything I can do based on my time on task, years of experience in the business, thousands of hours uh, out there applying, learning from the best in the industry and seeing what works, what doesn't. Uh, if there's anything that I can bring to the table as you're getting closer to where it is you ultimately wanna be by being in this industry, go ahead and reach out. We'll connect, perhaps talk some more depending on what it is you need help with and what your goal is with it. But shoot me an email and uh, we'll connect further. Now with that in mind, thank you so much for watching the video. It's because of you and your support that I can continue making these videos and sharing the value. So with that in mind, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.